Good morning. Are everybody excited to be here? Yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a few more commitments and um, things to do, but for the most part, we've tried to keep it, uh, you know, as simple as possible. And for the most part, we've, you know, same same life, same 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 drill the last year, especially with training. Uh, it's kind of had a routine for the last 10, 11 years now, and kind of just stuck to that same routine. We There's a lot of good teams, you know, but I like my team for sure. It's a really good team, same, almost the same dogs as last year. Um, few, few new ones that are really good, and um, yeah, I mean the competition's stiff, and it's hard to predict stuff like this. But um, if um, yeah, I'm happy with my team and looking forward to getting out there. Uh, race Yeah, I mean, our hope is to win for sure. You know, we're back. We're back. That's the goal. So, um, but yeah, to get to Nome safely and and uh, and uh, hopefully, you know, the dogs perform and we perform um, to our capabilities. We'll, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, we'll see. It could be, you know, it could be deep and slow, or it could get cold and harden up and be a fast trail. Um, you never know. Just because there's a lot of snow doesn't mean it's going to be wallowing through deep snow the whole way. But we're we're certainly going to go slow for, at, on certain sections, especially if we get new fresh snow. I'm an I did a rider with Linwood Fiedler. Lifelong, not lifelong, since 2006, I've wanted to do this. So this is just a dream come true. And joining Mr. Fiedler and the I did a rider is Mary Kay Havens from the great state of Texas. Oh yes, uh, we ride in the sled with a real musher, and Linwood has been has been in 25 Iditarods, has finished 21 of them. So, and we've met him before. So I, he was my first choice when we bid. Bidding was fun. Did it uh, January 17th and did it in Belize because I was some place that had good Wi-Fi. So everything is working out beautifully. <laughs> Oh, it's just a love of the sport and the dogs and, you know, traveling with the dogs and meeting the people out on the trail and the adventure. Uh, probably the moose, you know, was the deep snow, but it is what it is and it's probably, if it's deep snow, it's going to be a slower race. So, you know, it's one of those things that we all have to deal with. Because they, you know, like to get onto the trail and hate to get off the trail. So, and then they get pretty aggressive, you know, when, when they're agitated and hungry and, and, you know, when a dog team shows up. So. In starting position, number four this morning, please welcome to Iditarod 48 from Kinnick, Christy Barrington. He sews harnesses and dog coats, braids, runs trail support, and the entire family supports and sponsors from the sidelines all the way from her base in 300 to just name a few. 30 seconds. In the morning here at Iditarod 48.
first I was thinking Australian Shepherd with the fingers. Yeah. And it's Bob. Look at Bob. Right. You're better. This is Anchorage, the base camp for the last frontier, and I did her on 48. There goes Lance Mackey, hoping to make it a fifth win.